Okay, today we're going to take a look at how you can populate your ExamSoft with the student accounts by synchronizing it with Canvas. Now, in order to do this, the first thing you have to do is ExamSoft has to be installed as an LTI into your Canvas account. And once that's done, then you can do the synchronization. So a system administrator needs to make sure that the uh, ExamSoft LTI has been integrated into Canvas before you can proceed with the steps in this video. So first I want to mention that um, this is actually an account of a colleague of mine who's the one who's doing the pointing and clicking here. And I am just going to narrate the video that she's doing. So to begin, I'm going to go up and we are going to scroll over this Medicine 3 course up here. And this is the one we're actually going to think with ExamSoft. So I'm going to click on this Medicine 3 one. And when I get in there, I'm going to go down. The thing I want to look for here is the settings. So I'm going to click on my settings option. And I'm looking specifically for my Sys ID. So I want to highlight this and copy my Sys ID. Then I'm going to go over to my exam soft course and I'm going to take a shortcut to get there by going into the courses and then I'm going to click on exam soft integration. Now exam soft integration is a course that has been set up for us by the system administrator and this is a way in which we can access exam soft directly through Canvas using the single sign on. So I'm going to scroll up and click on the ExamSoft link and you'll see that my ExamSoft opens here inside of Canvas. Uh, you can see that the instance is toro.instructure.com and there's an authorization token that's already been put in there by the administrator. So I'm going to scroll down here now and I want to double check to make sure the user ID type says login ID. And once it's done that, then I can scroll back up and I'm going to click on my courses option. And this is going to allow me to sync a course, a new course, into my dashboard here in ExamSoft. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to paste the sys ID that I had into that course ID list. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to click save. Now once that finishes thinking, I can then go and you'll see my course sync list settings have been saved and I can scroll down and I can see that this Medicine 3 course is here at the bottom and then I want to scroll back up and then I'm going to click sync now and it'll ask me if I'm sure and I want to say yes or okay and in a second here now this your course sync list settings have been saved will change to the next prompt in the sequence. And that usually takes a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the recording here for a second and then come back when it's ready. So you'll see now that it has changed over to sync is being performed. And what we were waiting for there was essentially for ExamSoft to make the connection with Canvas so that it was ready to pull in the information. So it hasn't actually started to pull it in yet. Um, it's just ready to pull it in. So now that it says that the sync is being performed, there won't be any additional updates that we'll be able to see in this system. Essentially, there is a regular timed interval that ExamSoft will regularly check with Canvas. And that might be every 10 minutes, it might be every 15 minutes, it might be every hour. Um, so you want to wait a little bit and then once you think that period has passed, then we can go and actually check to see if the sync was successful. To check if the sync was successful, I can just log into my ExamSoft account. So you can see I'm in my assessments dashboard here now. Um, that's just where I happened to be the last time I was logged in. And assuming you've got administrator access, and this is important because if you only have instructor access, you may not be able to check this. Only the administrator that does the synchronization will be able to check it for you. But if you have administrative access, you can go down and scroll down to courses. And then you'll see all of the courses that you've got synced. And right down here at the bottom, you can see that this course, this 12440 course, is the one that we 
had just synced. And as you can see when I scroll across here, it indicates that there are 49 students. Now, if that's not the correct number, you can actually click on the 49 and go through and look at who the students that got synced in are. Because there may be an instance where, for whatever reason, there's one or two students that ExamSoft doesn't bring in correctly. And this will allow you to troubleshoot exactly who those students are and how you might go about fixing that. Okay, that was a quick video on how you can populate the student accounts in ExamSoft by synchronizing it with your Canvas course.